Oh my god, man. All right, today is May 21st. It's May 21st. Wait a second. Is it May 21st in America? It's May 21st over here, but I don't, I don't think, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, it is. It's like eight, it's like early in the a.m. in America, May 21st. So today would, uh, it's technically my brother's birthday, so, um, I gotta write him a, a, a message. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, back at home today, today was pretty, today's Thursday, okay, May 21st, it's a Thursday, and, uh, it's pretty, um, pretty relaxing, I guess, today, because today was just exams on my Thursday school, so I had no classes there, finally, because normally over there it's a busy as a hell this year, so, and, uh, you know, I, I put a demo lesson of one of my classes from last year um, at the base school up, but this year the demo lesson will be at my Thursday school, so it's going to be a little more difficult because the kids are not as, uh, like, academically, I don't know, I don't know, they're just not as, like, like, you, you know what I'm trying to say, they're just, you, you know what I'm trying to say, so yeah, but um, I have a really good JT there to work with, so it should be fun, but anyways, right now I'm actually about to, um, I'm actually about to go to 7-Eleven, and the 7-Eleven is very close to my apartment, so I decided why not just take you guys along for the trip, because I'm not sure if anybody, I'm not sure if I said this, but, uh, you know, I was cooking a lot, I would, I've been cooking a lot, um, pretty much every day I was cooking, like, my lunchbox for the next day, plus dinner and all that stuff, and, uh, I wasn't really eating much convenience store food at all, and I was doing that for a while, but, um, recently, things have been getting very busy, Things have been getting very busy, and I'm just, uh, and I'm also just kind of getting tired of eating the same thing, like just chicken or beef, over and over. So um, I've been going back towards the uh, convenience store food, and uh, the main reason though is just because you know it's convenient. You're paying, you're paying for the convenience from the convenience store food, so um, saves a lot of time. And there's, and because there's so many new things at 7-Eleven since like the seasons just changed or whatever, uh, I just like want to try everything. It's very interesting to try different things that all fit your macros. So as you saw in the last day of eating video, um, it's pretty much all like convenience store food. So anyways, take you guys along for the trip and see if we're gonna go to 7 and 11. So here we go. Oh, so uh, I didn't tell you guys about this or anything, but you know, recently there's been good weather or whatever, but just one day, the, randomly there was like a huge flood. Like it was raining so hard and uh, it just like flooded and like destroyed a bunch of crap so I mean like look at this look at this it's just flooded with water like all up in there now so yeah it's pretty bad but uh, I'm just kidding <laughs> who know it who, who thought I was serious and who thought I was kidding because um, yeah so these are these are like rice paddy fields and uh, actually like, people in these houses they own these rice paddy fields so earlier today you could see someone driving a tractor through the fields getting them ready to to harvest or, or I mean not harvest but like plants or whatever so pretty interesting though you know I never saw this in America so it's pretty uh, interesting but, but anyways how many of you uh, you know comment below if you thought there was actually a flood <laughs> dude holy crap look at this looks freaking beautiful out here oh my goodness little little glare things in the from the Sun in the camera you know like like a uh, the racing games in the PS4, you know, they love that kind of thing. <laughs> no, just kidding, I stole that from Juan. I was talking to Juan about that the other day, and he was like, yeah, PS4 racing games always have that little sun glare. They love it. So, I don't know, anyways, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, if you're wondering what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm literally going to just show you the path all the way from here to the 7-Eleven. Kind of show you how close it is, kind of show you around the neighborhood. And uh, I'm just going to attach this little, the camera to the... Uh, Attach the camera to my uh, trusty gorilla pod, and uh, we're gonna go. So, get ready. Uh, this is where I keep my bicycle. It's a really long key. Oh my God! Hello, beautiful. Check it out. One arm, yeah. Myron. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's got set up. Here we go. Oh shit! Fucking keys. Ugh. Get keys out of here. Alright. Alright, ready to take off. <laughs> and. And. Oh shoot. Hang on. My earphones. Alright. And. Cue the music.
Come on, traffic. Look at the gas station over there. Those are not the prices per gallon, that is per liter. So it's actually a little bit more expensive in Japan than America, but uh, you know. All right, here we go. Here we are. All right, guys. Back at home. Got my got my stuff from 7-Eleven. This is just uh, completely random stuff. So, you know, part of the reason for getting all this random food, you're gonna see it. Here it is. Look. So I got one like squid and vegetable patty. Look at this. 118 calories. 10 grams of protein. 2.6 grams of fat. 13.7 carbs. Then I got a uh. Shrimp Doria, um, and the, right here, 488 calories, 17.2 protein, 15.5 fat, 69.8 carbs, and I got a Mentaiko pasta right here, and this one's got, on the bottom, 25 protein, 9.1 fat, and 86.1 carbs. So as you can see, I just bought a bunch of random stuff, and um, one of the reasons that I do this, like, I always get different foods because, um, you know, some people, they can just eat the same thing over and over, but if I do that, I get really bored, and then, like, I really, I kind of, like, enjoy eating, so, you know, because I used to be a fat kid and everything, so, um, I like to enjoy my food, and if it becomes boring, then this whole dieting thing would probably become boring as well, which would make it much more difficult to do. Like, part of the reason, part of the reason that I can diet and do this, like, fitness like, go towards my fitness goals so well is because I actually think it's fun, like, I like being, like, counting my macros and stuff like that, and it's because it's like a challenge, you know, and, um, but if it were to be extremely boring and I had to eat, like, crap food all the time and stuff like that, I mean, it would be much more difficult mentally, so, you know, part of the, part of dieting is, like, keeping it interesting, keeping things interesting, keeping it fun, and still eating things that you like, so, uh, you know, just a little, a little tips with Thomas. So I'm eating this, uh, oik, they actually have this in Japan, like, oikos, denin, it's ridiculous, 9.6 protein, 12.9 carbs, and nothing else. Alright guys, this is completely random, but, just in case, I just actually, uh, I was, I was reminded by a, uh, subscriber, Zach Fasa, I don't know how to say the last name, but, uh, yeah, he reminded me about my, um, my Cloud Diary album on Facebook, and then I just realized that I've, I've actually put some other albums on Facebook that I want you know you guys to see for whoever's following or whoever just wants to check it out, check out some cool pictures or whatever. And I realized that I've had them all set to friends only, so I just made them public so you guys can uh, check it out. I got the pictures from Taiwan all up, got uh, the picture the Sakura Sakura pictures that I took, and I got this new album that I just made right now. 2015 hashtag AAF using my point and shoot camera to capture what I find to be aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> if you're wondering what AAF means, it means aesthetic is fork. So, uh, look at this picture, man. Look at this picture. My goodness. Aesthetic is fork, man. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, just wanted to uh, let you guys know. Alright guys, so it is uh, May 22nd, crazy turn of events here, so check this out. Well, schools are 3.30 right now, in the p.m. School's already over because today was an exam day, so they, everyone finished at noon and then club activity started really early. But anyways, check this out. So this morning, while I was riding my bike to school, my uh, wheel, like, or my tire just like exploded and all the air came out and I was like, man, freak! So, I was planning to arrive at school at like 8.50 or 8.55, but because my tire popped, I had to walk to school just bring, holding my uh, bicycle, so it took forever. I ended up getting to school at like 9.30 or something, but uh, since I didn't have any classes today or anything, 
it's like completely okay, no one really cares. Um, and uh, the vice principal, he's like a freaking bike guru. The, bi the vice principal and the music teacher were like a bike guru. So I asked the vice principal if he could fix the tire for me. And he actually fixed it. And uh, it was so funny because I came out here and uh, I saw him walk up. Like we, we saw, like, met each other right there. And uh, he had changed out of his suit and everything. He was wearing just a normal t-shirt. And his hands are all black and stuff. And I was like, oh, crap. And he was like, he was like okay, I'm fixing it. But, but Thomas, your bike is dirty as hell. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so he said he's gonna clean it for me as well, and as you can see, he did a pretty good job, man. Like, yeah, I just never got, I, I just don't really have like a bike stand or anything to clean it with, and uh, I don't know, it's it kind of difficult. So I never bothered cleaning it, and so it was really dirty. And he, he fixed the tire, you know, he cleaned it for me, so it was very, very kind of him. But anyways, and then also, when I met him in the morning, he was like, he was like, oh Thomas, by the way, um, the uh, so the city council called. They're looking for you, and I was like, uh, uh, was this about that red light that I ran yesterday on my bike? <laughs> but no, like, he said, uh, the city council called, and that's because they're having an event on July 20th. An event on July 20th, and, uh, they, hey, oh, hello. <laughs> and they're asking, they wanted to ask to see if I could perform in it. And, uh, I have no idea how they even found out about me, and my vice principal says, he also doesn't know how they heard about me, but anyways, they called the school and asked to like have a little chat session with me to discuss the event and see if I'm down to do it and talk about the spacing and everything. And uh, so just now, the person from the city council came and we talked about the event. And uh, so let me let me tell you, this is this is ridiculous. Okay, so pretty much, um, first of all, like it's gonna be in like this mall on the fourth floor, but the space it's 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 probably wide enough maybe, but the ceilings are too low. So I asked if we could do it outside, and he's gonna he's gonna go check with the uh, people in charge of it to see if I can uh, kind of like advertise myself inside, but then actually do it outside. Cause yeah, but uh, it's pretty ridiculous because apparently there's this guy who lives in Siama or something, and uh, he used to be an elementary school teacher, but then he became a pro daidoge or he became a pro street street performer, and he does like balloon art and china rings, you know, the ones that connect and you take them out, it's like magic. And uh, he does, what else? What else, balloon art, china rings, and, oh, pantomime, but anyways, so this guy, like, he, he retired from being a teacher and became like a pro street performer, and he has been performing for, he has been performing at this event, and he performed at the event last year, but uh, the city council guy was telling me, yeah, we're trying to find somebody to replace him, we don't want him back over here. And I was like, wait, why don't you want to have this guy again? He did two, because he took two time slots and did shows during both. And they're like, well, first of all, he takes way too much time because he wants to do it twice. And second of all, he charges us. He charges us. And I was like, what the heck? And because I was planning to do it for free, you know? And, uh, but he said the Charlie guy charges them and he charges them like 50,000 yen. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? We're doing freaking balloon art and like China rings. You're charging 50,000 yen. You better be a damn good balloon artist, you know? But, um, Anyways, they're saying that like that 50,000 pretty much takes a fourth of their funds for the whole event. So, that's pretty ridiculous for one for one person, you know. And they've got many acts. So, uh, they're like, "Yeah, we don't want to pay him like that much." And I was like, "Yeah, that guy's freaking stupid." So, I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous that some people like let the idea of like this fame get into their head or whatever cuz you know, he's from Tsuyama. It's a Tsuyama event. The event is kids day, you know. And you're going to like charge that much for an event and like you're probably not even that freaking good and uh I mean I saw pictures of him because the, the city council guy showed me pictures of last year from him and I was like this guy looks like a freaking scrub so then I showed him a video of my performance and he was like holy crap this is crazy this this performance is worth 10 uh 100,000 yen and I was like holy shit but anyways then he said then he was like yeah they're, we're gonna pay you too and I was like holy shit really because I, I thought all right so uh all right, ran out of space on the memory card. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. So then they said they were gonna pay me too, and I was like, holy crap, I was gonna do it for free. Cause you know, I really don't care. I'm just trying to get my, I don't know, get out there so I can perform more, have more opportunities for just fun events. And cause just performing's fun, you know? And uh, make the people smile, make the people love you. No, just kidding. But anyways, yeah, like, so I'm actually gonna get paid. Um, not like 50,000, but you know, I'm gonna get paid, I think 10,000 yen, which is like 100 bucks, which is pretty good. So, I mean, pretty good, because I, I expected, I was, I mean, 
I just really don't care. Like I just, I'll, I was gonna do it for free, so you know. But anyway, so if all of this stuff goes through, then there will, I will be doing some kind of exciting. I mean, there's some exciting things. I mean, it's exciting for me, you know, to to do that kind of thing. Um, because I, I kind of want to do like the street. I've always wanted to do like a real street performance type of thing, not like a setup performance. So. Uh, cool things man so just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and um you know even if i were to become a famous diablo i would never be a charlie nope never gonna be a charlie